A young guy enters the airport in Bulgaria in the morning. He enters the doctor's office, but after a while he runs out in horror. Having run out in the street, he leaves the territory of the airport, spews over the fence over two meters and disappears in the field of sunflowers. But where has last meeting gone? Lars Mitten. On YouTube, this guy is considered the most famous missing person. People around the world record videos, create endless topics on forums, discuss and put forward different theories, and all this with the sole purpose of finding out what really happened on July 8, 2014 at the airport in the city of Barna, Bulgaria. His disappearance is very mysterious. This is understandable because there are too many questions and few answers. Frightening recordings from the cameras make you even more horrified by the story. Let's try together to get closer to solving disappearance. Consider his path from arrival to disappearance and also consider everything possible and impossible about his disappearance. There are still many interesting details. So sit down more comfortably, let's start. Lars Mitting has lived in Germany and worked at a coal-fired power plant since August 2007. On June 30, 2014, Lars and his friends flew from Berlin to Bulgaria in the city of Varna to spend a week of vacation and rest there. Their goal was the resort of Golden Sands, the Bulgarian analogue of Ibiza, which is becoming more and more popular among young European tourists, looking for a cheap city to relax. On the so-called Golden Sands, there is everything that the soul of a young single guy desires. Girls, alcohol, music, as well as drugs, and all of this for almost no money. Lars and his friends rested at the Viva Hotel, where it was all-inclusive. But later friends would say that Lars ate very little, he almost always skipped breakfast, and only ate soup or salad for lunch and dinner. Friends had fun, went to the beach, bars and discos. At this time, the final of the World Cup was going on. On July 5th, France went to the beach bar to watch the match between Costa Rica and Netherlands. At the bar, Lars got into a verbal quarrel with a group of fans of the German football club. But Lars remained calm. He retreated, the quarrel didn't turn in the fight. Lars and his friends were the last to leave the bar late at night. The five young men went to a McDonald's fast food restaurant. Lars stayed on a bench in the street to wait for them. But when his friends returned, Lars was nowhere to be found. They returned to the hotel, hoping to find him there, but he was not there either. The friends went to bed and when they woke up the next morning, Lars returned. When he returned to the hotel and he told his friends that he was attacked by locals who spoke Bulgarian and Russian. He said that these strangers were hired by fans of the Bulgarian football club with whom he had a conflict. He said that they paid the Bulgarians or Russians to beat him. Lars suffered an ear injury. It was an erupted eardrum. His friends were suspicious of his story and had little faith in his words. Two days later, on July 7th, the friends packed their things because it was the last year of their vacation in Bulgaria. Lars complained to his friends about the sore ear. His friends advised him to go to the hospital. Lars and one of his friends went to a local doctor. After that, they returned to a hotel after collecting things, friends left the hotel. Lars said he was not sure if he could fly the plane. His friends offered to stay with him, but Lars told them to fly back to Germany without him. Friends called a taxi and checked Lars to a specialized doctor, while they themselves headed to the airport to fly home. Hospital specialist Dr. Boris Naidenov diagnosed a serious problem a ruptured eardrum. He advised to postpone flights and recommend an operation. 
but Lars didn't want the operation to be carried out in Bulgaria. Dr. Nidanov wrote him a prescription for antibiotics CFC 500. On the way from the hospital, Lars bought a medicine. Lars went in search of cheap hotel. A taxi driver advised him the coast hotel where Lars arrived at 10.50 p.m. This is where the first strange things begin. At 11.50 p.m., an hour after arriving at the hotel, Lars used his mobile phone to call his mother Sandra. Lars said that when he checked into the hotel, he was scared by the front desk clerk. Lars said that he is so weird and that he doesn't feel safe in this place. He asked his mother to block his credit card. Lars told her that he was leaving the hotel immediately and hung up. The hotel staff confirmed that he left with all his luggage in the middle of the night. After a while, Sandra received another phone call at 3 a.m. Lars refused to raise his voice above a whisper. He whispered that four men were following him. He said that he was hiding from them and hung up again. A few minutes later, he sent a short SMS to his mother. Where he asked his mother what the CFC 500 antibiotic that he was prescribed. Two hours later, Lars is standing on the side of the road in panic. Catching a taxi, a woman passenger in the cabin suggested that the taxi driver pick up Lars. Later, they both reported that Lars looked like he was sick. And you also noticed that his pupils were greatly dilated. The taxi arrived at the airport at 6 a.m. At the airport, Lars called his mother again, asked her to transfer him 500 euros. She told him to go to the doctor at the airport to make sure that he can fly. His mother booked a plane ticket, as well as a bus ticket to Germany, in case he is not allowed to fly. Later, he called again and said that four people were still following him. He also said that they would not let him fly or take the bus. His mother wanted to ask what he meant by this statement, but Lars hung up. His mother thought he was talking about the doctor, but later it turned out that he called her before he went to the doctor at the airport. After a while, Lars goes to the doctor. He was examined by the doctor. Later, the doctor will say that Lars looked emotionally drained. The examination was interrupted when one of the airport employees came to talk with the doctor about the upcoming repair work. After which, as the doctor said, Lars was frightened and visibly nervous. The doctor said that he began to tremble when the construction worker entered the office and shouted, I don't want to die here. I must leave here. A couple of minutes after, Lars jumped up and ran out of the office. He ran out in the street and left the airport area. A few minutes later, according to the witness, he runs across the parking lot, jumps over a two and a half meter high wire fence, and disappears into a field with sunflowers. Since then, no one has ever seen him again.